Hey there, I'm Dr. Ethan, and today we're going to take a look at SCP-1285, The Wooden Movie Prop. This particular item falls under the object class of safe, so no need to worry about any containment breaches with this one. Let's dive in and see what makes this movie prop so special. SCP-1285 is to be stored in a designated outdoor area when not in use, and during testing it is to be placed in a secure indoor containment unit. The containment unit must be equipped with a bed, unless the testing protocols dictate otherwise. The roots of SCP-1285 are to be regularly checked and trimmed to prevent any damage to the containment chamber. Testing can only be carried out with approval from level 4-1285, and must be submitted two weeks in advance to allow for any necessary growth. After testing, any instances of SCP-1285-1 are to be disposed of by incineration. When Secure Containment Procedure 1285 is placed indoors, its roots will grow at a rate of 1 meter per day, and will produce pigments to match any non-organic surface they encounter. The roots will seek out the nearest, bedroom, defined as a room with a sleeping implement, and will pause their growth until a human subject falls asleep in the room. At this point, the roots will rapidly produce flowers and attempt to dislodge one of the subject's eyes, leaving a flower-designated Secure Containment Procedure 1285-1 in its place. Magnetic resonance imaging scans show that Secure Containment Procedure 1285-1 connects directly to the subject's brain. Survivors of this process report it as mildly unpleasant and show a decrease in aggressive behavior. The process takes between 16, 16, and 32, 32, seconds. Secure Containment Procedure 1285-1 will attract insects, which will pollinate Secure Containment Procedure 1285 through use of Secure Containment Procedure 1285-1, leading to the production of SAP, designated Secure Containment Procedure 1285-2. Secure Containment Procedure 1285-2 can be refined into an alcoholic beverage. Side effects include stomach pains, headaches, hemorrhaging, and vomiting after 6 hours, increasing in intensity over a 72-hour period. If the afflicted survive, root-like structures will grow out of their orifices, eventually covering their entire body. The individual is then considered an instance of Secure Containment Procedure 1285-3. Instances of Secure Containment Procedure 1285-3 are hostile towards all mammals and will attempt to wound them to the point of immobility. They will then bite the target, causing symptoms similar to those caused by Secure Containment Procedure 1285-2, but at a highly accelerated rate. Following Incident 1285-AB, no further instances of SCP-1285-2 are to be produced. Personnel caught trying to create SCP-1285-2 will be reassigned, and if necessary, terminated. Any resulting SCP-1285-3 instances are to be destroyed. SCP-1285 was found in a back room of S Bar and Grill in Colorado after reports of tree people in the area. The owner and other witnesses were given amnestics, and all SCP-1285-3 instances were removed. A note, Document 1285, was discovered among S. belongings. The note, addressed to a fan named Jared, thanked him for his involvement in the movie Attack of the Root Men, and promised to give him the main prop, the statue of the forest god. The note also revealed a secret method for producing a substance related to the prop. It cautioned Jared to be careful with the substance, as it could have negative effects on his career. The note ended with the promise of a package to be sent to Jared soon. <laughs>